Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at uh, changing some of the pipe work on our beer font here. Now we're drawing a couple of uh, what you call overly carbonated beverages such as ciders and lagers and we're having problems with foaming at the tap. So in order to resolve that what we're going to be doing is taking some of the pipe work out. As you can see, well you probably can't, it's just back here and we're going to be chasing that out all the way to the, the kegs and we're going to re be replacing the pipe that's in there which is uh, 3 16th ID with this quarter inch ID pipe um, and this should enable us to have a much uh, heavier flow without quite as much pressure being put on at the other end so uh, we'll take you through it step by step and you'll be able to see exactly what it is we've got behind the, uh, behind the bar and font and how it works and while we've got the um, the pipes out, they're wrapped in what's called a beer python. Um, we're going to actually insulate it with foil as well, and put some um, plastic, like a vapor barrier, around it before we seal up the insulation again in order to prevent uh, heat loss. And along with that, we're going to be changing the cooling pipes to uh, one that's a little bit more flexible and has better heat transfer properties so it will be able to give up its cough to the uh, to the beer pipes more readily uh, and keep your beer chilled in the lines so let's get to it right so that's the uh, front fascia board off the middle of the uh, the bar cupboard here and behind it you can see the pipes. Now these are the pipes we want to get to to uh, detach. As you can see there, the connections holding them together. So if I to get this insulation off. Right, so what we have here these are the two coolant pipes which are still actually flowing so I'll have to go and turn them off in a second and what I've done also if I just jump up here and uh, yeah what we've done is turn the pipes off and run air through them so as you can see we can open all five taps and there's no pressure in there now, so they can just be left open while we concentrate on this down here. So the next thing we have to do now they're open is one by one detach the pipes. Seem to be a little bit of beer flowing in number two, but that's not really a problem. So um, what I'm going to do now is go and grab a spanner because some of these are push fit and some of them are compression and uh, we'll change out the ones we want to change in fact I'm going to take it all off and push it back through the wall because we're going to be doing this is the bay path in this section here and we're going to be changing all of that right so just a quick shot there there are beverage tubes. Now these are the sizes that we want. These are what we had on before. You can see it's going from quite a narrow pipe to a bigger one. And these are the two cooler pipes, but the radiator pipes. So they're extremely well insulated in there. That's not what we're looking for. And they connect onto here. So we'll pull that off. We'd better go and check it fits our new pipe. Right, looks like a bomb site, but there's the exit hole for the um, for the pipe work, and this is all the boxing that we've taken off. That goes past the step, runs under there, through this concrete trench or sand-based trench, and in there into this shed. And then we'll show you in here. It comes through there and into that hole. Now I'm going to move that hole and re-drill it there so all the pipe work runs along the back of the freezer because afterwards I realised 
but when it comes through there it's just in the way of everything and there you can see the old cooling pipe that's out and this is the new stuff going in insulation the uh, quick release connectors and then running out there they're the beer lines as you can see we've got about 20 odd foot of them so the next job is to take line 5 and 1 out and replace those with the 3 8 pipe right that was tricky but we've uh, redone the um, the beer python now so I'll just show you how the lines lay out and the next job is to wrap it in foil and then shrink wrap and then insulation and then shrink wrap once more but I'll show you the layout now just go outside okay so let's have a look down this end here we've got the two coolant pipes these are going to carry the coolant to the beer font and back to the freezer again and then we've got the five um, beverage pipes around it and we've tried to uh, spread them out as best we can and it goes all the way down to there so we'll get them wrapped Right, a bit tricky, but that's the first layer done, as you can see. Looking good. So now, a layer of foil. Right, that's the next step complete. It's all wrapped nicely in foil all the way down and that's going to maintain a thermal barrier to keep the cold in and the heat out so next we do another layer of um, shrink wrap oh boy hello right that's the uh, second layer of shrink wrap on top of the the foil it's in there somewhere you probably can't see it so we'll run the pipe again just to see it's beginning to take shape and then again at the end there's the foil so we've got shrink wrap foil shrink wrap pipes right now I'm going to recycle my old insulation and we're going to get that on as well Okay, hope you can see this, it's bright, I know, but we've got the um, last wrap done. Now here you'll see, this is where the insulation ends, because I have a funny feeling that those couple of metres are going to be coiled in the keg uh, cooler. So this here runs all the way to the end, there's about seven metres of it measured it actually and it's actually 32 feet or 10 meters of pipe so what we have here is just a quick recap pipe um, beverage and cooling pipe obviously which is the cooling is just a hose then we have it's tie wrapped together and then shrink wrapped and then foiled and then shrink wrapped again and then pipe insulated with pipe lagging and then shrink wrapped for a third time so there's plenty of vapour barriers in there and this is the uh, pipe lagging that we've used for it we basically broke this open and used two, one for each side so it sort of links that side and then the other bit comes on that side to connect it up together so the next job is let's get it threaded and put into the uh, to the cooler. Right, just a quick video or quick update. We have the pipes connected now to the taps. 
there they are you see the return of the in and return pipes for the coolant there and then we've got the five separate um, pipes uh, beverage pipes going in nicely so I've pressure tested that for the uh, coolant so I just have to do the same for the beverage pipes and then we're going to wrap it and insulate it right radio off thought I'd better just show you this before we put the front back on so we've got the new pipe in better insulation this time round so that should help the uh, beer font to chill it's actually on so it should start chilling down now um, that's all fully insulated as you can see so it just remains for me to go and put all the taps back on the kegs or the uh, quick disconnect should I say and then we'll run some cleaning fluid through all these pipes and get the beers back on we'll see how that goes soon a bit. Well, I suppose I best finish off there's the taps really nicely everything's back in order let's have a look under there everything is back in as it should be have a look outside at the pipe work all box back in just need to put a little bit of cement there boxes back in there and well the shed doors locked so we'll not be going in there well, I probably left it a little bit late to do this to be honest but uh, it's all been settled and running in now so we've got the gas back in it is dark that's where the old hole was for the pipe going through and now we've got it going through in the corner there so let me just nip inside right so we're in here um, well, might as well pop the lid and have a look so that's the new setup we've got the gas pipes coming in there as they were before and just underneath it is in black so you might struggle to see it in this light we've got the uh, beverage pipes coming in they are down there um, somewhere there we go so yeah you can see that coming in they go down here separate there so the cooling pipes go next into the next section of the fridge and then this liquid pipe does a coil and then the five pipes come up the top and across and onto their respective kegs which each has its own individual gas line running off this here so we've got room for five kegs and a demijohn and some beer there in a secondary and then if we just look briefly in here we've got the same cooling system and this with, is with salt water but I'm actually chilling it down now and what I've done is I've boarded it off that section now so it's separate from the refrigerator section where the uh, kegs are and I intend to chill this down to about minus six minus seven while the keg section next door will remain at about four degrees centigrade so the coolant will always be much colder than the beer allowing the beer to stay cold within the pipes so let's go inside and have a look at uh, the taps well that's how you do it chaps that's how you put in a remote draw uh, beer system give or take a few of the uh, more important factors such as installing your bar font and making a kegerator but you can find those videos on my channel um, along with home brewing videos to make your own beer as well so it just le left for me to um, test out that everything's working okay so I suppose I best pull a brew looking good too Well, 
cheers everybody and brew beer. <laughs>